Silver Spring resident Fred Bowen spent much of his career as an attorney for the federal government, which involved a lot of writing. But when the opportunity to do some writing of a different sort came along, he took a swing at it and eventually hit a home run. So my wife was a journalist with a local Montgomery County newspaper. And I was at a party and her editor came up to me and said, Fred, you, you love to tell stories, you're funny, you love movies, how would you like to write movie reviews? And so um, I said, yeah, I'll do that. And uh, I started writing movie reviews, did it for a couple of years. And then uh, uh, my kids came along and I was kind of surprised and disappointed that my wife wouldn't allow me to just go out to movies all by myself and uh, uh, leave her with the baby. But my son was getting to be about, oh, I guess he was about five years old. And I was reading him sports books. And I wasn't happy with the sports books. And I thought, you know, sports are really important to kids. And uh, so I thought, I, I thought I could write a better book than this. And I tried, uh, failed with the first one, but then I uh, uh, took some time off and wrote uh, the first draft of TJ's Secret Pitch, which became my first book. And a couple years later, I got a contract uh, for that book. And I, by that time, I had the idea that I could write a series that would have, that would combine sports fiction, sports history, and there'd always be a chapter of sports history at the back. Kids are, they're wonderful to write for because their, their question is always, what happens next? What's going to happen? And uh, so you're, the books tend to be plot driven. In other words, there has to be something going on. But I also like to work in sports history because I want to teach the kids something about the games that they play. The last thing, and I always tell adults, I say, don't tell the kids this, is I always have sort of a lesson in the book. In other words, the kids have to, lots of times kids will ask me, they'll say, well, are you just going to write about sports? Somebody in the class will say, who doesn't like sports. I'll say, well, actually, and I'll hold up a book and I'll say, well, this book is really about jealousy or this book is about perfectionism or this book is how to deal with disappointment. I just happen to use sports as the way to get those things across. So kids love sports. Kids just love to watch sports on TV. They like to hear about it. They, they play sports. So is it a pretty easy sell getting them to read your books? Actually, when I go into schools, I talk, I talk about the books some, but I also talk about the writing process. And what I do is I, I tell the kids about getting ideas, where I get my ideas from. And then I'll look at them and I'll say, do you guys eat lunch at school? And they go, oh yeah. So what do you do at lunch? Oh, we talk. What do you talk about? And they start telling me what they talk about. I said, you know, you're telling each other stories all the time. The only thing that's different about me is I write stories down. You also write a weekly column for the Kids Post on sports. Tell us how you got involved with that. They called me in because they knew about my books. And they sort of were saying, well, we'd like you to write it on a, occasionally um, for the Kids Post. And I sort of surprised them. I said, well, I don't want to write for you occasionally. And they were surprised because everybody wanted to write for them. And I said, I want to write for you every week. I said, you don't have a columnist. And they said, I can be your columnist. And they said, well, what would you write on? And I actually reached into my pocket and I came prepared. I was a lawyer. And so I gave them about 30, 40 ideas. So these, were they were all, these were all thank you. They were all, yeah, they, this is actually from uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I was up there at Hambright. Welcome to Hambright, Mr. Bowen. Oh, so what is it about this writing books and spending all your time traveling and and um, you know researching and working so hard? What is it about this that makes you so passionate about it? Well, I mean, first of all, it, it isn't like it's a uh, a prison sentence. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's uh, I say to people when you write books for eight to twelve year olds, I mean, you get to be twelve years old. Your books rock. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that's great. I remember very early on in my book writing career, I went to a it was a book fair at Blessed Sacrament at Chevy Chase Circle, and uh, being in uh, Catholic school and a uh, product of Catholic school uh, education, um, I had this exchange with this woman came over to me. She was the reading specialist there, and she said, "I want to shake your hand because you 
are the one who got two of our sort of least interested in reading boys to be interested in reading. And I smiled at her and I said, then I go straight to heaven, right? And she looked at me and she said, if I have anything to say with it, you will.